Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now many of you will know that in my most recent video, I actually shared with you some key updates, okay, that the government had actually published regarding the health and care worker visa. If you haven't seen that video, I strongly recommend that you watch that video after you watch this one. I'll be sure to leave the link to that video down in the description box below, okay, because it is important that you are aware of the announcements that actually came out in that video. So do make sure you watch that video after this. But the focus of today's video is I'm going to be sharing with you some brand new care assistant roles, okay? So if you're looking to actually come to the UK as a care worker, then I'm going to be sharing numerous job vacancies for you in this particular video. But before we go any further, my name is Tess and on this channel, I share a lot of useful resources for those who are looking to relocate to the UK. So if that sounds like content you'd like to see more of, then definitely do make sure you give this video a like, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're the very first person to know each time a video is published. Now guys, before I delve into the video, I just wanted to quickly say that I get a lot of DMs from you guys saying to me that you've been applying for a lot of these jobs, you're not getting anywhere, you're feeling frustrated, etc. The first thing I'm going to tell you is to make sure that you are working consistently on your CV and on your cover letter. Trust me guys, the right CV and cover letter can take you miles, okay? So you want to make sure that you are putting in as much of an effort as you possibly can when you are writing your CV. There's no point in just throwing in applications that you have not thoroughly thought about and read, okay? Because at the end of the day, each recruiter literally has seconds to look at your CV and job application. Obviously, you can take a look at some of the videos here that I've talked about, you know, CV tips and basically ways in which you can format your CV to give you the best chances of actually getting a job here in the UK. Alternatively, I do offer a paid service where I can basically review your CV for you and your job application to give you some strong points on areas you could actually develop and increase your chances of getting that job. So if you're interested in taking advantage of this opportunity, then do make sure you check down in the description box below because I would have left the link for how you can get more information on this. The other point I want to quickly say is that it's important for you guys to apply to these jobs as soon as possible, okay? Because these jobs are very, very competitive, which is why I always stress that if you want to see more jobs like this, if you want more information as soon as it comes out, then do make sure you are subscribed and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive straight into the video then. Okay guys, so the first job I'm going to show you is one for a night care assistant. Okay, so this job was actually just posted on the 7th of January. You can see the salary here is £9.55 to £10.10 .10 per hour. It is a full-time vacancy and the closing date is the 5th of February 2023. So there's still a bit of time. Obviously, I would strongly suggest that the sooner you can apply for this, the better. The company that is actually advertising for this role is called HC1 Limited, okay? I've already said this is a permanent role. I did want to stress that they have said here that right now they're looking for an enthusiastic and committed care assistant that can join their team at their care home. They've also said here that skilled worker visa sponsorship is available to applicants that meet the criteria and currently reside in the UK. Okay, so for this particular role, you do have to already be in the UK, okay? So if you know someone who is already residing in the UK, you can obviously send them this particular job vacancy and they would be eligible to actually apply for it. Okay, so you can read the details regarding this particular job role by yourself, you know, um, when you do actually get access to it. But, but basically, the hourly rate is subject to experience and qualifications. You will actually get free uniform as part of doing this job and there is company pension scheme available as well as having a group life assurance cover. Okay, they offer a whole host of other benefits as well. So do feel free to read the full description of this particular job and go ahead and simply click where it says apply for this job to make your application for the Now the next position is for a care assistant. Now this job was only posted a few days ago, okay? So the salary here is £10.50 to £11 per hour. This particular role is being offered on a part-time basis, but the closing date is the 5th of February, 2023. 
the company that's advertising this is called hc1 limited okay they have said here that this job is being offered on a permanent basis so they said here that in your role as a care assistant at hc1 you will value kindness above all okay by joining hc1 you'll also have a wonderful opportunity to give something back to people so right now they are looking for an enthusiastic and committed care assistant to join their team at their particular care home so what they said about the particular candidates for this job is that skilled worker visa sponsorship is available to applicants that meet the criteria and currently reside in the uk they have stated here that please do not apply if you live outside of the uk so again this particular job role is for those who are living in the uk so if you are living in the uk or if you know someone who is already living in the uk and are interested in applying for this role then please do go ahead and share this vacancy with them okay so some of the benefits that are listed for this role is exactly similar and the same to the previous role that I mentioned okay for the night care assistant so all you need to do is basically go where it says apply for this job and you can go ahead and apply for this particular job role the next job I want to show you guys is for a nursing assistant now this job was actually posted on the 8th of January and the closing date for it is the 7th of February the salary for this is £11.75 per hour, okay, and the company that's advertising this is called Genesis Homes Essex Limited. This is being offered on a permanent basis, okay, so if you have any particular nursing care experience, okay, where you can provide support with personal care, cooking, laundry, cleaning, and those kind of activities, then you will definitely be able to apply for this job. You can also basically apply for this job if you have experience where you've been assisting residents in all aspects of their care needs and also if you're able to provide administration of medicine when necessary. You can read the full description for this particular job role for yourself, but essentially, they have said here that if you're a foreign worker, you will need to satisfy the conditions set by the home office for a sponsorship visa. They've also said that you will need to be a graduate thought and examining English language and you will need a TB certificate and a police report from your country of origin okay so if you're interested in this particular opportunity then do go ahead and make sure you put your application forward as soon as possible for this particular job vacancy you guys so the next job role i want to share with you is for a senior nursing assistant so this particular job role was just advertised on the 8th of january the salary for this role is 11 pounds 85 per hour they have said that they will be actually contributing towards your pension and that they are offering this particular vacancy on a full-time basis this job is closing on the 7th of february okay so the earlier you actually put your application forward the better okay so this job role is permanent and you will be working with a company called genesis homes essex limited now the summary of this particular job role is that you will be responsible for routinely overseeing and monitoring care assistance on duty you will also take responsibility for the shift and for the service while you are on duty you will also be needing to respond to emergencies and also providing guidance and support to care assistants. okay so you can read the full summary for this particular job role for yourself and decide whether or not you want to apply for it they have said here on the basis of sponsorship is that if you're a foreign worker you will need to satisfy the conditions set by the home office for a sponsorship visa they've also added that you will need to be a graduate that's thought and examining english language and you need a tb certificate and a police report from your origin okay so this basically means they're open to foreign workers applying for this particular job and if you are interested or if you know anyone else who is interested then do make sure you just simply click apply and go ahead and make your application the direct links to every single one of these jobs that i've just mentioned will be on my facebook group okay it will be pinned in my facebook group so if you are interested and you do want the direct link you can obviously go ahead and join my facebook group the link to join my facebook group can be found in the description box below okay so i'll leave it there and you can go ahead and join and it will basically be the very first post that you see you will see the job links for all of these jobs alternatively you can simply do a google
Google search for yourself and find these jobs. Now, before you actually make your application, I will strongly, strongly recommend that you go ahead and watch these videos here where I've spoken about all the things you need to take into account when you're crafting a good professional CV, okay, for applying for UK jobs. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, there were also some key announcements that was made regarding the health and care worker visa in terms of the updates, okay, and the pending deadlines, etc. So do make sure you go ahead and watch this video to learn all you need to know regarding the announcements and how it's going to affect you particularly if you are an overseas person who's looking to come into the UK as a care worker or in any of the related care fields on the health and care worker visa. By the way, if you still have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do make sure you give this video a like, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. I'll see you in my next video.